Welcome back to a couple things with Juju and Des. Yeah. What's up, <laughs> y'all? So, welcome back to a couple things podcast with Juju and Des. I'm Juju. And I'm Destiny. And we are a couple things podcast. So, we haven't been, it's been actually like nine months since we posted Has our it? last podcast yes wow. i think let me let me get my phone out real quick wow let me make that's sure absurdly awful <laughs> yeah i think that's that's very bad but we have that's some tragedy we have some very big excuses though because excuses wow just calling us out just blatantly putting it out there we have a lot of excuses that we're gonna yes. list off for you guys yep. but let's start oh. with some positives actually hold on it's been six months let me rephrase okay. that so you know what i'm saying i went overboard at three months only but, half a year yeah only half a year but it's all good because we are back and we are better you know what i'm saying this is like we wanted to really come on back on this podcast when we can fully like put our full effort into doing it and basically you know what i'm saying just wanting to grow it exactly so so let's get right back into how we used to start all of our podcasts with yes. our apple and our onion of the day even Ooh. though it's actually early in the day we've never done a podcast during the middle of the day we used to always do them at night but that's not working for us anymore because our son goes to sleep pretty late sometimes. So yeah. we just can't stay up that long. So we're doing it on his nap today. Let's see yeah. how this goes. And like we always say this, I think we said it in like our last podcast. Whenever we start our podcast, we always tell you guys like our setup isn't fully complete, which I promise you guys it's not complete. We're going to like fully dedicate a space in our house to like. You know, get it all right for our podcast and stuff, because like we said, we really want to like, you know, excel this and, you know, uplift everything that we're doing. So this is like our big goal. Yes, exactly. So, babe, do you want to start with your apple and onion or do you want me to go first? Oh, you want me to start with the apple or onion? I could go first since you might, might need to think about yours. Uh... Yeah, you go ahead. You go ahead. OK, so my Apple, something simple, just that I was able to actually get some work, some content Ooh. done today. Yep. And I feel like we have just randomly had a little manifestation period where all of a sudden things are, you know, coming good to us, like little opportunities are coming to us right after the solar eclipse. It just so happens. So I'm like, OK, yes, that's amazing. And then yeah. my onion is how hard it is to just get any little thing done Setting up this podcast, for example, like you think oh that we can just sit down here and just start filming. No, it took us at least a long time. I don't even know how long, but we've been rummaging around this house, running around like chickens with our head cut off, hoping that Koa doesn't wake up, but hoping that we can start and sit down and film this before he gets up. But it's OK. We're here yes, now. It's OK. And that's like one thing as a parent is like you're always scrambling around to do something whether it's like trying to get a job done, whether it's trying to leave the house, whether it's, you know what I'm saying, doing something. So when we have our free time where it's like, you know, we got to get everything done and situated, we're on like a time task. Crunch, I know. I feel it's like crazy. a little chaotic energy from myself right now. We also went to eat right before yeah. this and that was a little bit of a disaster. Cole was tired. He was cranky. He didn't want to eat. He just wanted a milkshake and to be cranky. Yeah, so... <laughs> But OK, so that's that's I love your apple of the day. You know, what I'm saying we actually got work done. You know, me and Destiny, since we moved to Texas, it's been kind of hard for us to get work done because we don't really have somebody to just like, hey, can you watch Cole while we do this? Or, hey, can you, you know what I'm saying? Can you watch Cole while we go out tonight and, you know, get some filming done or whatever? You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit harder. So Especially we got the age he is. Yes. He's liking his terrible tools and. We got to take full advantage of it. So I'm glad that you did get some work done because we do need to get back on our grinding because we low key been kind of slacking. We'll talk to you guys about that in here. But my apple of the day, I'll say is, um, you know, just I think being like we're like more productive. Like today has been like a very productive day. Yesterday was productive. Yesterday we posted a video. And that was like a very productive thing that we did. So if you guys didn't watch that video, go watch it. Um, and then today we got work done. Plus and we, we're doing something right now. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> getting more work done. Plus, you know what I'm saying? This is like something that we've really been wanting to do because this is like a venting period for us as well. And then it also like lets us go back and see 
how you guys feel about certain things and you know what I'm saying it's just like a family type thing I don't know it's it's, it's a it's a good vibe so and it's also a little bit of like a bonding <clears throat> time for us because yeah. we get to just sit here for at least a whole hour and just talk just the two of us yep. about things that we probably wouldn't ever discuss if we weren't sitting here talking about it even exactly. though you know the setup period is a little bit hectic and sometimes we're like ah yeah <laughs> it's all good though you know what I'm saying and we might be a little bit rusty right now which is okay because you know, as we, you know, it's going to start getting fire and fire. But um, that's basically my app of the day. Just basically, you know, we've been productive as a family. We not only got our work done, but we also went out to eat. Um, you know, we were talking about other things like maybe we wanted to do this to the yard or, you know, what I'm saying talking about fixing up the house. So we were just very productive today. Um, my apple of the day, I mean, my uh, onion of the day would have to be um basically same thing as you like <laughs> i feel like um we as a couple we're like really like once we get something done we're like okay cool now we gotta go over to cold because he's up and we gotta you know we don't really be like picking everything up like right then and there so sometimes cole may okay come grab something and then we're looking for a cord or you know what i'm saying we're looking for something and then it's just a scramble so we're looking you know we're scrambling around the house and stuff like that so i think the onion of the day is just you know us scrambling around and basically being hectic hectic and hectic. sometimes we have a tendency i'm sure every parent does like sometimes we'll kind of get frustrated with each other just yep. because we're so frustrated with the situation but we really just have to like take a breather and realize that it's <sighs> just this situation it's not actually each other and some things are just out of our control and we're all just trying our best here <laughs> exactly but yeah you know we are back um this is like a kind of exciting thing for us because you know a lot of people they've been dming us or commenting on our youtube videos asking when the podcast is going to be back and like we can officially say that we are back and we are you know what i'm saying we're here to stay in the podcast world and we really want to like elevate our podcast um we have like some big goals like that we want to do with this podcast and one of them is to bring special guests on here so like you know we may bring a couple on here and you know play some games or you know ask them some crazy questions that you guys want to ask or you know pick their head pick their brains and you know what i'm saying just have fun with it so that's like one goal that we have for this podcast is bringing people on here yeah i think that's going to really take it to the next level it's yep. going to be so fun i in real life just love to ask people questions yeah. i'm kind of nosy and i like to ask people deep questions i saw this meme and it was like somebody having a normal conversation with their friend and then they're just like and what do you think from your childhood makes you feel like this now as an adult like just get an all deep, deep for no reason it. i'm that person so i would love the opportunity to just pick people's brain and just see like why they are the way they are or yeah. ask them anything about themselves yeah or like you know what i'm saying like how they met or how they get through their problems in their relationship or marriage or you know what i'm saying or however they they are in their relationship. You know what I'm saying? I think that'll be really, really cool. So yes. you guys comment below. Let us know some special guests that you guys would want. We probably won't start that until like the fourth or fifth episode back. But we'll definitely be getting some really good special guests on here for you guys. Um, and I think yeah, that's going to be fun. Yeah, that gonna, is going to be fun. And we can meet some new people maybe. Yeah. Put ourselves out there. Yeah, that's like another big thing. You know, me and Destiny... Um, like we we are so 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 indecisive. Like me, I can't even go to the ice cream shop and pick a ice cream. I think out. you're worse than me. Yeah, I'm pretty bad with being indecisive, but um, we're really really bad with being indecisive. And tell them what happened yesterday. Yeah, I mean, I go <laughs> oh to oh my god, <laughs> I go to the ice cream shop and I'm just like, I don't know what I want. There's so many flavors, so I'm asking like, what's the most popular? What would you choose? Or like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, Down to something simple though. Like, let's say they're like, do you want something to drink? He's like, yeah. What would you choose, Dr Pepper or Coke? What's yeah. more popular? I'm like, <laughs> Julius, come on. What's more popular, hey, <laughs> Dr Pepper or crazy. Coke? That is crazy because I really do that on everything. Like, what would you? You choose like bro like like if i'm if i'm even putting just in like to choose the opposite like literally like i maybe even put in a sports bath like bro what would you choose if somebody tell me i'm like 
Okay. And then I'll put in like, you know what I'm saying? Put in something else that I'm already thinking of in my head. And <laughs> I don't know. It's just. But it's crazy because you are the most particular person yes. about every little thing. The most particular person I've ever met. So when you ask people their opinion on something like ice cream, and then they always tell you a flavor that like you are definitely not going to like. It happens yeah. every time. They'll be like, oh, the carrot cake butter pecans pretty good and i'm yeah, like, like he's never gonna get okay, that so I'll just get it. what you like well i tried the macadamia nut yesterday so it was all good but um yeah i think that we're very very indecisive right now and when you're indecisive you don't know like you literally don't know what you want to do and the big thing that we're so indecisive about is either staying in dallas or moving back to California or even moving somewhere else. Like that's like the most indecisive thing that we could possibly be on right now. Yeah. Right? We're really just stumped. We don't know what we want to do. We're kind of like in, in a pickle big time, you guys, yeah. because we do love the fact that we have our home. Like that's one step check mark off of our, yeah. you know, like we own it. We, you know what I'm saying? Like we have a good mortgage. Like we'll for sure be able to pay it for, However long we need to pay it. And it's really everything that we could want in a house. Yeah, true. Like we have, we even have extra rooms that we honestly never use. Like I'm talking about, yeah. we'll probably go in there once every like week and a half or something. Like this room that we're in right now, this is a huge room. Huge. Like this room is huge and huge. we are never in here. Literally. Ever at all. Probably in the whole year we come in here like four times. Yeah. But I think, I honestly think that has to do with like, us just like being indecisive not knowing if we're gonna stay here or if we're gonna leave because you know we don't want to spend money and put money into you know making this house like super super comfortable or making it like you know a forever place if we plan on moving and stuff and like you know there's like we said there's rooms in here that we can literally like this room is super nice we painted it all black like we could literally make this room like a movie theater if we really wanted to. But it's just it comes down to, you know, us being indecisive and like being kind of like, limbo. It puts us yeah, in limbo, a limbo. And one thing that like I know this kind of a little bit off topic, but one thing that I really want to do this year is be a lot more organized. Like if we got our podcast, like if we got our podcast though, we got our podcast though. And like when we come sit down, all we got to do is just do our podcast and boom, you know what I'm saying? Sit down, film. It, no excuses, but it really is so hard to be organized when you have yeah. a toddler. Literally, I'll organize one space and then come out to a disaster. Like yesterday, I had the whole kitchen, living room, spick and span, clean. Spick and then and all span. of a sudden, Koa goes in his room, gets out a couple bins of toys and his little blow up ball things and just dumps them everywhere, scatters his toys and animals everywhere. And if you go out there right now, it's, it's a disaster. Crazy. I already picked disaster. it up. But while I was trying to pick it up, he was taking it from me and dumping it again. Yeah, see, that, but that's what I'm saying. We got to, like, figure out a way to be as organized as possible to minimize the, like, little messes that happen. Because some little messes end up becoming, like, huge messes. And yeah. then it's just, like, just stacks on, stacks on, stacks on. Then you got to just clean up a crazy mess. And then, you know, you may not want to clean up the whole thing. So then... We leave a little bit and then it just stacks on, stacks on, stacks on. This room's pretty messy that yeah. we're in right now, actually. I'm like looking at the floor, there's clothes yeah. scattered and shoes. Because we was we was doing we was working, yeah. we had a lot of try on stuff that we had to do. Um but yeah, guys, you know, we are hopefully hopefully well, hopefully you guys are happy that we are back on this podcast scene. Um, you know, like we said, we got a lot of big plans. Um, and with that being said, there are some things that personally I want to work on and get better on when it comes to this podcast. For yes. one, I'm going to try to stop saying like so much because I yep. think I say that a lot. I'm also going to stop. Um, I mumble a lot. I notice when I watch them back, I hate hearing myself because I mumble a lot. So I'm going to try to enunciate, enunciate. my words. Enunciate. Open your mouth. Open my mouth. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm always like. Do you think that it's cool if we didn't? I'm like, like what stiff, am I even saying? Like, like I sound horrible. Stiff. Okay. No, I'm not saying that. Like, I'm saying, like, you're <laughs> stiff. Like, that's how like, you, like, that's how you. And then the third one is I pause when I speak in the middle of my sentences. For hell, like, that one right there is, like, for sure. She'll be like, yeah, so my mom came over. <laughs> 
And then it was so funny because like we just started laughing about that. Like, I know I do. And then the oh the last what? one that I do that drives myself crazy is I have this horribly ugly resting thinking face. Whenever I'm thinking, I get like these zoned out zombie eyes and I'm like I don't know. I look scary and like nah. soulless when I do that. Honestly, I think that, you know, as time goes, we will start getting better and better at the podcast. The setup will start getting better. You guys will start liking the podcast a lot more. Um, we'll have a lot, a lot of guests on here that you guys will for sure want to see. And you know what I'm saying? It's just going to, we're going to elevate it up. Go. We're going to, you know, uplift. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to work on? Um, I think that I want to just work on, um, you know, just being more like not, I, I over explain myself sometimes, so I don't want to over explain myself. I kind of want to just get to the point sometimes and yes, you know, I don't want to, I, I don't, I always say, you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. want to say, you know what I'm but saying? But I think you've stopped that a lot. Like yeah. you've cut you back. Oh, I just said like, <laughs> yeah, she's a liker. I'm a liker. Liker. Li and liker. you know what? Somebody, people tell me all the time that I'm hypercritical of myself. Like all I do is put myself down. I don't think it's that. I think that I'm just self-aware of my strengths and my weaknesses. And I think us as individuals, we all need to know where we have room to grow. Because if we all just think that we're perfect and cannot improve in any way, like how would this world be? Yeah. Pretty true. crappy. You got to, hey, if you really want to grow in life. You got to just, you know, you got to just do it. You can't, you can't sit there and procrastinate because if you procrastinate, the next person is going to get it from you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's, you can't be delusional either. Yeah. You can't be delusional. You can't do none of that you gotta stuff. You got to know where you have room to grow and improve. Yeah. And speaking of growing and improving, um, we just had a crazy, crazy, crazy solar eclipse in Texas. Um, I know like everywhere in like, I know the Cal my people in California got it. My people in Washington, Arizona, you guys got it, but you guys didn't get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we really got it. Like it was crazy for us. It was like the whole world just went silent and yeah. like the, the moon was over the sun and it was like, it was so crazy. It was super dark. Like it was, it was kind of like, it gave me like the chills. Yeah, I was kind of, it, it was trippy. It really was a crazy moment because right before the moon fully covered, all of a sudden the animals started like the chickens. We live by a lot of animals, the chickens, yeah. the birds, all of them started like and yeah, chirping crazy. and stuff. And then when it got dark and the moon fully covered, it just got like silent. Like, the whole world like paused and we're was, like, what the heck? Like, you this didn't crazy. hear no cars going. You didn't hear nothing. It was just silent. So that was like a really, really crazy experience for me. And like a, a big thing that I didn't really know about in Texas is like that those type of things are really, really big. They shut down schools for that. They shut down businesses. Like um, I know that there was like a business by the gym that I go to that's like open all the time. It's like a warehouse business. And they were literally closed because of the solar eclipse. Like I was like, it's kind of, I wish I went to school here during like times like that. Cause I know that's lit. Have, a like, school day off. <laughs> yeah. They probably wouldn't have done that back where I live. They, you know, we still going to school. So that was like a crazy, crazy time for, for us seeing the solar eclipse and actually experiencing it and stuff. And I think it was like a destiny was really wanting to manifest during that time. Right. Yeah, I was, but then I read that maybe you're not supposed to really manifest so much and you're actually supposed to almost do the opposite and you're supposed to let go of all of your like expectations and your true desires and just let yes. what be will be and that's when your true desires come to you, when you just kind of let go. So that's okay. crazy, right? Yeah, that is, that is actually crazy because like we were just outside when it was happening and then we came inside and then I feel like we've had like a super, super um motivational like shift like now we're like kind of more motivated to you know like we got work done we're back on our podcast stuff we back on our videos like you know what i'm saying we're trying to plan different things to get out the house go to rangers games and you know what i'm saying i feel like since then since that crazy little thing that happened where it went silent and all that like our whole motivational like purposes that we've been doing has shifted and things have just been coming to us yes. randomly and unexpectedly, yes, which is actually, nice. That, whoa, that is crazy because you had one thing yeah. and I had one thing. And then just before this, we had another thing. I know. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Like, hey, the world is crazy how it works and stuff. Like, 
you got to just be a positive person and, you know, go towards positivity and look like crazy things will happen. You yeah. just won't even expect it. You'll just yeah. be least expecting it. You Look, this is a great thing to, like, really get through your head. Look, the things that you need most, you'll least expect it when you need it the most. Go get that, get that back. Wait, you know say it saying? again. Like re, like, like rewind that. <laughs> Can you repeat? The things you need most. Things you need most. Will I forgot what I said? Oh my! The things you need mo- most will come to you when you need them. No, most? no, no. What was the it? things you need most will come to you like, like I forgot what I said. Like come you, on. hey, you guys re re. Well, what were you trying to say? I was just trying to say like. The things you need most will happen to you when you least expect it. You know oh, what I'm saying? Okay. Like, mm-hmm. like, like you may need some money right then and there or something like that. And you may have to be like, damn, I, I don't I don't got no money for this. And then if you're like, you know what I'm saying? And you're you're in a positive space. You're really working towards everything that you want to do. You may just like pop up and like a job opportunity comes up. And you're like, wow, this is crazy. The world works in crazy ways because... You know what I'm saying? Like, I just kept a positive mindset and it came to me when I least expected it, but I needed it the most. You know what I'm saying? Mm, yes, like you I get need what you're that. saying. That goes along with the whole letting go thing because yes. there's only so much that you can actually control. So you can do what's in your power to make things happen for yourself, but don't, there's no use in like stressing about what you can't control. So you just have to let it be. Yeah. And that's when things do truly come to you, actually. Yeah. And that's honestly, I think that we've been we've been doing pretty good at, um, you know, like really just being on our stuff. And yeah, some I really struggle with just letting things be. I'm a stress ball. I always worry like I'm on Google all the time, like searching things up. You too are a worry yeah, ball. I am. I'm a worry ball. But like not when it comes to like I'm only worried. I'd be worried about like just weird things. I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But not like like. No, like normal things to like really worry about. I'm just cool about yeah, it. Yeah, and then I worry about just everyday like everything. Yeah. <laughs> like what are we gonna have for dinner? I gotta yep. figure that out. Yeah, we be having a you know what I'm saying? It's cool though because that's just part of being an adult and growing up. Speaking of growing up, you know what I'm saying? My birthday is in less than a month. It's in like a good like May twenty 1st. days. May first. Today's what? You know what I'm saying? Today is Ooh, April tenth. April tenth. So yes, yeah, so, three weeks. Yeah, about? today is April tenth. So we got three weeks. Um, I'll be twenty seven years old, which is crazy. Um, Beautiful. You know what I'm saying I'm a hey, you know I'm gonna be hey. I'm Somehow a, he always ooh. lucks out and gets like the best birthdays ever. The past How two years, I, you've had amazing birthday trips. What? I like we're, Wait, we're not why going are you acting confused. Trip. Last okay, year, look, we, where did we go? Uh, I don't St. Lucia. We went to we went on a two week long trip. First, yeah, we went pretty fire. to Orlando and we had an amazing experience yep. at the Ritz Carlton. Yep. And then we went to St. Lucia yep. and then we went to Miami. Yep. And the year before that, we went to Turks and Caicos. Yep. You know, I said, hey, big Bali. You and know, Florida. Hey, hey, hello. Hey. Did we go to Florida too or did we go straight to Turks? I can't remember. Nah, we, yeah, we went to Miami. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, See, I, hey, you know I, I had to go pick up that gas pack. You know, I said in Miami real quick. Do we, you know, we go to Turks. All it. I did for my birthday was go to dinner. Yeah. The past nah, but it's cool though because I promise, like, honestly, it's like we're always in weird situations. When one of the years we were moving here. What, for my birthday? Yeah. Or no, we were just getting all settled down here. That no, was the like downhill of my birthday started so many years ago. This is. No. Hey, but no, listen, when, this year, you know, when I had the tragedy on my yeah, birthday, that's when yeah. everything went downhill. Yeah, but it's cool. This year or this upcoming year for your, what, 29? No, 30. 30? <laughs> oh, yeah, because January. Well, I'm talking about like the upcoming. Damn. No, so, yeah, I January. know it's a big one, though. So, so you not, better start planning. Damn, you're not turning 30 till 2025. Yeah. She's going to be 30. I'm going to be and 30. And she's still going to be dirty. You know what I'm saying? She get dirty in the 30s. You know, hey, she's I a don't little, know what you're saying. She knows what I'm saying. No, uh, I it's don't. Time, hey, you know, it might be time for, you know, baby number two if we end up staying in Texas. You well, know? The, I was trying to talk to you about that at the restaurant because woof, it's a lot, you guys. Yeah. So what are your like pros and cons right now? Because I feel like it changes all the time for both of us. Sometimes I'm like, I really want to have another baby. And then other times I'm like, absolutely not. Yeah. So right now I'm kind of in between. Like I there's 
positives and negatives for both strongly. So I think there is a lot of pros and cons. I think it's just like there's so many pros and cons that you it's like. Well, what are the, the top? So the top pros is like obviously just being a father and being a mother is like one of the best feelings and the best things in the world because, you know, you're just like you have somebody depending on you at all times and like it gives you like a very, very good purpose in life. And it's like um, the best love in the world. Yeah, it's, it's like the a, love is crazy. The crazy, crazy type love. And it's just like like that's your seed and like that's the person and thing you created that you really have to take care of and like guide and like teach the right things to do and right things to not do. Um so I think that's like a pro is you know, you just you're like it's like very loving. Um another pro is, you know, sibling. Cole, yeah, Cole will have a sibling. Um, and there's, there's just so many pros, but obviously there's a lot of cons because there's like, you know, you go through that toddler stage that where it's like, ah, you know, it's kind of, it's difficult. It's a lot. It's like you, you have to limit the things that you can do. Um, even though you still don't try to limit the things you do, you still have to just because, um, which that's cool because in, in life, when things are great, you have to take sacrifices. So that is true. But sometimes it's like, ooh, we can barely even keep up now yeah. with everything that we have on our plate. So adding another one is, it's going to be a lot of work, but I'm sure it will be worth it in yeah, the long run. For sure. But, yeah. you know, those beginning stages are rough. <laughs> and I think, honestly, like, we were going through a patch of, like, okay, getting all settled down here, um, moving. Like we said, we're in a limbo of figuring out if we want to go to California, if we want to stay here. Um, and all that. And I think it's just like a lot of people I see a lot of a lot of people comment like, oh, you guys can never figure out what you guys want to do. You guys can never decide like what you guys want to do. You guys start this, start that, but don't end up finishing it. And I'm not going to lie. I feel you. But then I don't feel you because it's like we're still young. So we're still trying to figure out what we want to do and what's best for us and our family. So true. Um, Babe, at what age do you think we're still young? Uh, I think we're, I'm going to be 30. So like what until I think, you're, I think you're 45? Kinda, I think you're kind of old. 30. <gasps> you, so you, I need to figure out my entire life. <laughs> Stop For saying real. that. If you're not if you're not dirty and 30, then <laughs> what are you talking you about? Hit that stove and get crazy. What are you? I'm, I literally don't know what hey, you're listen, talking about. We're going to keep this for a neck. We're going to listen. If we get, the if, you guys really wanna, if you guys really <laughs> want to hear a great, great story, a crazy story, you know, just comment below and let us know you want to hear a great story. Because, you know, on our anniversary, you know, Destiny's, you know, she's big baller. She'll go crazy, you know, <laughs> just got to, you know, we know her. So it's cool. I don't know what he's talking about. He likes it. Every time we get on camera, he tries to act funny no, and say some I'm little not. jokes. I'm being honest. I'm just saying, like, you know, if you guys want to hear a funny story, we got some funny stories for you guys. Because, you know, Destiny, you know, you know, she's not 30 yet, but she is dirty, you know. Stop. I don't like the okay, word dirty, though, because okay, okay, people okay. are going to think you're saying I'm, like, dirty, no, like, stinky or stuff. she's not dirty. Stuff. Like, look at her. Doesn't she look clean? I'm not going to lie. Like, what are you trying to say? Like, like, nasty a, type of dirty? No, this is a whole new swag for Destiny. Destiny oh, don't be like wearing. This is like comfy hoodie. Like, she got the hoodie on. Baggy. I was like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? I was like, ooh, you trying to, what's up? You trying to do baby dirty too right now when I see her in that? But, why? You know. I really want to know. Like, why is it you as a man, you love a big baggy hoodie on me more it's than like a nice, like, you know, form fitting outfit. He, he just said he wants to make a baby with me when I'm in this big, huge look. hoodie. Let me tell you, listen, let me tell you. So I like the way you look in this because, listen, a lot of people, they can't just, you know what I'm saying, wear the baggy and just ah, just hop about the house, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, oh, you know, people can't do that. That's why I admire it. Like, I couldn't just put on a baggy thing and just hop out looking good and stuff. I still got to put a hat on. I got to, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? She got her Crocs on. Well, actually, look, right now she got some, look, put your foot up. Oh, I knew you were going to roast these. How did she I know when you put socks. these on? Look, these are orange, They're purple. like slipper socks. And look, I admire it. Like I'm you like, like these? whoa, like, but she hopped out like that. She popped out. I'm like, whoa, like, how are you doing that? You look good when you so do you it. So you really do like the you know? sweatpants, hair tied, chilling when the makeup on. I feel like that's hey. so typical. No, it's not even typical. It's just the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's not, it's a different vibe. Like, look at her. 
Just look at how comfortable she looks, but at the same time, she looks beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Face, so basically, are you saying that my face card doesn't decline? Face card doesn't decline. Oh, ever. You know <laughs> your what I'm face card really doesn't decline. Yeah, you, you know, got a beautiful I'm, one. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Okay, you guys know me. I love me some Reddit. So, of course, yeah, I have to throw at least with the one Reddit, Reddit topic. Because they have some good topics. You should browse, too. You nah, might find I mean, some stuff. Hey, we're going we gonna to look. This is actually in the Ask Men Reddit forum. The topic is, how do you feel when a woman pays for the tab? I went on a dinner date with this guy. He asked me out, and we had an excellent time. Okay. Since I'm a bartender and always carry cash, I just paid for the bill when I excused myself to go to the bathroom. He asked why I took care of the cap, the tab when he found out, to which I replied, because you're awesome and I wanted to. Dinner can be on you our second date, okay? Once we left and got back to his car, his vibe kind of was off. It was so weird and awkward. This guy has been kind of dry ever since. I even confided in my male friend and he suggested that I may have made my date feel emasculated. How do you guys feel about women taking the tab do you go 50-50? Do you always pay? Did he overreact or was I weird about that? Okay, so that right there is a great question. And I'm going to just say I really, really feel like it depends on how your pockets are, my boy. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, I'm going to be real 100% honest. Like, if you got that bread, then I don't think it's really going to phase you. Like, if you're spending or if this girl or whatever is spending bread for you, you know what I'm saying? Cause you're not really trying to prove anything, but if you don't got that bread or maybe you're trying to like put a good impression on her and you're like, Oh, this is like, you know, this is the first date. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to like, boom, like let you let you know, I got that chicken over here. Like, let me pay. Boom. Then it's like, uh, okay. But I don't think you should feel like, non-manly because not emasculated yeah because but i have noticed i do have to bring this up because every time that me and you go anywhere like for example even the ice cream place or no but anywhere we go okay we both even if we go to the grocery store store the ice cream shop sandwich shop anywhere we both have the same account you it guys, matter. we share an account, but if I get my phone out to pay with my Apple Pay, I got that he chicken. feels the need <laughs> I'm paying. to get his out and pay, even though it's coming from the same place. It doesn't matter nah, which one we use. I'm it's paying. coming from the same account, but he feels sometimes like he has to do card. it. Like he stops me from doing it so he can do it. Cap, sometimes I use my credit card. True. You know, I, sometimes I use my other business card. True, sometimes but I feel like you just me. want everybody to see that you're paying. Like, do you think it makes you feel weird if like your wife is paying no. I don't, I don't think it feel, it makes you f- seem feel weird or anything it's just like a thing where it's like okay you're my wife like i'm the man of the house the man so of, you like, do want to feel manly no 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 it's not making it, it's not about me feeling manly it's just like the right thing in my mind like it's just the like the right way of living to me like i feel like if the groceries are in the car i should be the one that brings them in like you know what i'm saying and like you put them away <laughs> like it's 50 50 still but it's just like a different type of level of 50 50 so it's like you know it's our bank account but i'm gonna go there and beep put my card on there or my phone or whatever just because you know i need that person is across that thing and now i got that chicken so <laughs> what person the person is ringing us up and that's stuff. what i mean so you're doing it for them no, to see that I'm you're not. paying i'm doing it for the people because what people the people the the men the, you're doing it for the men the whole I'm generation doing it for of the men. whole generation of the men because then it's like <laughs> oh wow this young man right here is paying for his whole family cool boom beep. oh so you're inspiring others yes i'm in i'm <laughs> i'm i'm an inspiration to the men of the youth you know what i'm saying because okay. i'm not an old man i'm not i'm not old well i think so let's say we went on a date like a first date like that and i just mm-hmm. paid i think back then actually you wouldn't have been mad about it you would have been like trip. yep go ahead let's go back for again it. it's all good hey, but you also good. had less money back then yeah i definitely did have. so if you have less, less money maybe you're more open to the woman paying um i feel like yeah because i'm not spending my chicken <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm my saying. Bread. But if you have more chicken available, then you're going to be yeah, like, yeah, but that's where I, that's where it comes down to. OK, um, are you 
like I said, are you more like, do you have more money to like where it doesn't phase you? Yeah. Like, I remember one time me and Destiny, I'm not even gonna lie, like, you guys are probably gonna be like, what the hell? What, but Taco listen, Bell? Hey, I was living on a crazy budget. I had no bread at all. <laughs> <laughs> you should be hey, embarrassed. I no, think I'm we've told this story, I'm but you should really be embarrassed about hey, this. I'm embarrassed, but I got mad because she wanted to get a chalupa. And it was like $4. And she's not even going to eat it, bro. So I'm like, bro, I'm not paying $4 for a chalupa, So basically, bro. whenever he would go to Taco Bell, he would get like the $1 tacos. Like, I don't even think he knew like, that there I'm was not. another part of the menu that had more expensive items. So I go to order a chalupa and he's like, no, <laughs> $4 for a chalupa. Still to this day, I remind I'm him all the time. Remember it. when you didn't want to buy me a chalupa? Yeah, like, I'm not, why would I pay that much for a chalupa that you're not going to eat when we get soft taco on the dollar menu? When I still had to pay rent, that was like $1,400. I didn't have no job. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to get that money. I was trying to figure out ways how to make money and stuff. So I could understand at that, like, situation. Like, I wouldn't, if you, if you took me out to dinner, best believe you're Remember getting I took a, you to berries yeah you best believe you're getting a very good thank you and I, I i thank you so so much and i love you but <laughs> i'm not going home sad i'm going home happier than i came because like i'm i didn't pay actually i do remember that time where i took you to berries and bought you the lobster pizza yeah, i think she, you were kind of cranky hey. before and then after i Paid for berries and got him the lobster pizza. Oh, my God. She was in the best mood ever. Yeah, because she had that chicken. She was capping like she didn't have the chicken, and she had the chicken. She had, <laughs> I never bro, capped like I didn't have come, chicken. Bro, Destiny <laughs> used to come home with wads of cash. I used to be like. Not, okay, not bro, wads. You're acting you, like. Like, what do you, like, big wads. And she's like, it's I, it's just my savings. It's no. my tips. It's well, my tips. I it, I made it in a week. No, oh it's my. because I was a Damn. bartender, so most of my money would just be tips. So I would always have it in cash. But I, little did he know, my chicken. actual bank account used to always have only like $300 in it. And then all the rest of my money would just be cash. It didn't matter. She had chicken. <laughs> I did not have she chicken. She had like $9,000 in cash. And at that that's time. Not that much. Bro, but at that time, it was. I was like, bro, like that that's nine months of rent right there. <laughs> like, like, hey, like you got some chicken on you. And then she's over here mad because i'm not buying her a chalupa well you, because i see even back then i've always been a saver you yeah, on the nah, other hand for sure, for sure. you couldn't buy a chalupa but you were over there buying supreme bro i would buy like it's kind of crazy because that is one bad thing and thank god like thank god i was able to like you know what i'm saying like find businesses level and level up and make money because bro i like I would literally make eight hundred dollars back then, and I would figure out a way to spend it. I would I would go on Craigslist and maybe buy like a dirt bike or something, and still have to fix it up a little bit. Like it wasn't a good one. Like, bro, I would literally waste money on stupid. So stuff. bad. Like he would just wake up in the morning <laughs> and like figure right. out the most. Abs you still do it to this day, though. No, sometimes. Like we'll go to Tractor Supply. Yeah. And we're only supposed to get fertilizer for the grass, and then he's like sees a freaking go kart, and it's like yeah, we. Like have to get this go kart should i just get it i'm like you don't need a it's five thousand dollar go kart that you're gonna use one time no, like you just think don't about need it. it like this okay look so here's an a prime example i bought a bike it's a super 73 bike <laughs> it's it was five thousand dollars super super fast i didn't agree with that purchase super either. <laughs> good like it's a great bike like i promise god this bike is lasting forever i could take it to the wilderness and go forever on it it's electric it's hella fast it goes like 40 miles per hour Destiny, she was tripping when I got it. It was five thousand dollars. Well, tell them how you did it too. Yeah, I just got it. He I, got it from a coffee shop, you guys. This she, is how absurd he is. <laughs> it was my local coffee shop. He somehow <laughs> found a five thousand dollar item to buy from a coffee yeah, shop. No, but it was like, how did you even bro, come across trust, that? Trust me, I promise you. If you were here and you could write it, you watching this right now, I promise you'll be like, bro, this thing is fire. So I got it. And it's literally one of Koa's favorite, like, things. When we go outside, it's his favorite thing to ride on. That and then the little Tesla quad that I got. And mind you, I got the Tesla quad for free, you know, straight from investments, you know, Dogecoin. So that's that's another topic to talk about. But, yeah, like, 
that right there, that's a great investment because we're going to have that bike forever and Cole is going to love that bike. And you, anybody who comes over, they love it. Do you it. ever think that anything you bought, do you ever look back and think like, oh, I shouldn't have got that? Yes. Or in your head, are you always like, yep, that was a good purchase? Because I never no. used to think, say that that was a waste. No, actually, I think like I have a lot of hats. You guys are going to see in episodes, I'm probably wearing different hats all the time, like in just different episodes. I don't know, like this is just a hat I just put on, but I have like over a hundred and something hats and I feel like my hats are like the best investment. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm just laughing because I'm just thinking about everything that you just buy that's so yeah. unnecessary. Like, so the hats are a good investment. I feel like a bad investment that I did spend money on is like jewelry. Like I would buy like, um, like I have a chain that I bought and it was like hella expensive. And I you go take it to the jeweler now and it's like, not even half the price of what I bought it for. You know what I'm saying? Because it has diamonds in it and all this and stuff like that. It looks good, but realistically, I'm not getting my money back for it. I'm just spending money for it. And that's when it comes to like, okay, like, is it an investment? Does it like help your business, whatever, and stuff like that? But no, it didn't. It's, well, maybe it did, but it's like at the end of the day, it's still a waste of money. Yeah. That I could have just like literally like that type of money where you can go, Put put a down payment for a pool or, you know what I'm saying? Just stuff like that. Like, bro, me and Destiny probably could have bought, like, four or five houses right now and been renting them out. Like, fully bought four or five houses and been renting them out. With, with, strictly with all your material strictly possessions. With, <laughs> with just stupid stuff that we would buy or, like, spend money on and stuff. Like, I'm not going to lie, like... We've spent money on vacations that were crazy or like hotel room. You know what I'm saying? But that's all like ex experiences in yeah, those come I back. never really regret experiences. Yeah. It's more so just things that we buy that we don't really use. Yep. So, for example, right now, since we do own our home, we're trying to figure out um, things that we want to put money into the house. But we don't want to put money into it if we're not going to get that money back exactly. if we decide not to stay. So, like, obviously, we want to have a pool for summer. But we have to make sure that if we decide to sell our house, that we're going to get all of that money back that we put in because we're not just out here, you know, trying to just waste thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah. But sometimes Julius gets an idea in his head of something he really, really wants. And he's such an impatient person that like he is going to do it like it doesn't matter. Yep. He's going to figure out how to do it. So he really wanted this little outhouse. Right. Yeah. Woke up one morning Stupid. and decided he really wanted this freaking outhouse. So he just. Blew it. Randomly found a guy yeah. just like down the street, like literally a random person, you I guys. And just I comes back home. Yeah, I hired somebody to build the outhouse. Yep. Same day. I'm like, it. who? He's like, yeah. Oh yeah, we're meeting tomorrow. We're going to Home Depot. He's getting all the materials, buying the outhouse. This guy was here for I don't know, some days doing it. Julius spent thousands of dollars on it, and then the guy that built it, he really wasn't certified to hey, build it, listen, so he didn't do it I right. Hope Bro is watching this. You are the worst builder in the world ever. <laughs> we have I'm to tear it down. Honest. It was a complete waste of money. It's literally Thousands like a of complete dollars waste of money. That it's we have like, to demolish There's now. literally like leaks and holes in it everywhere that like if it rains, it's like a puddle of just flooded rain in there. So that was a waste of money. That was like probably like $6,000 that we spent that could have went towards a pool or something. But now... Like we said, we've been saying it this whole thing. You guys are probably going to hear it a lot from us, but we're so indecisive if we're, if we're leaving or if we're staying. Now we can demolish that if we are staying and we can start doing our pool. <laughs> Wait, what? What does demolishing that have to do with doing our pool? Because I don't know, because you don't like that. I uh, hate it because it was supposed saying, to be in my so like, fire pit and, lounge area. And, yeah, and he decided to put this up. big, ugly house that we can't even go in. Yeah, bro. That's just blocking up. the whole view. Not I me. hate it. I'm about to go back there and with a sledgehammer and just go crazy. Yeah, maybe well, that might be a good. You should like, do that. It's a boom, good therapy. Boom, I yeah, hear. I hear too. So just like, yeah, that's one thing we do got to do Um, is, yeah, get our backyard situated because we got to get a pool in the summer in texas is hot if you live in texas hey let it comment below you know what i'm saying give us some things to do in the summer you know get like we're trying to get into that texas vibe more than likely we're going to end up staying here destiny was saying that we're really trying to figure out if we're gonna like what we're gonna do to our house that makes sense to where you're gonna get that money back and i honestly think that whatever we do 
we're going to get our money back as long as we stay a certain amount of time. Yes. I think that's the biggest thing um, is just staying and being smart. And I think a lot of the times we aren't smart. We're super young. And I'm not going to lie, me and Destiny made a lot of money at a super young age. So, like, not super young age, but a pretty young age to where it's like you can make a lot of bad decisions. And I feel like a lot of the bad decisions we make are, like, impulsive decisions where it's like, okay, cool, we're going to do this now. And we're just going to do it. And then later on, we end up regretting it. So I feel like what we're doing now is like, you know, we're really looking at everything thoroughly through where it's like, okay, these are the pros about staying and these are the cons about staying. And like, you know, putting everything, narrowing everything down and like growing up and becoming our own mature adults where it's not just about us. It's about us as a family. Yeah, you definitely have to balance the happiness versus like financial you know how much you spend is it worth your happiness or is it not is it something that's only going to make you happy for five minutes or are you going to like truly be happy with it years down the line yeah so that's where you have to really think about things into the bigger picture yep and that's just what it is and that's the pickle that we're stuck at we're stuck here you know what i'm saying but we are back with the podcast we have a lot of the great things coming for the podcast this is just the first little episode kind of rusty trying to get everything back in motion getting all the equipment back and ready and all that stuff and plus we're doing this podcast in the afternoon which is completely different than our normal like cozy nighttime vibe when co is sleeping we can relax um, I kind of like the daytime vibe though. Yes, the daytime vibe is pretty fire too. So if you guys want more daytime podcasts or whatever, um, just comment below. Let us know how you guys are feeling about the podcast. Give us some topics. Um, give us some people you guys want us to bring on the podcast. It could be couples. It could be single people. It could be, you know what I'm saying? It could be whatever, however you guys want to do it. Um, I think it'll be super, super dope. And we have a lot of stuff coming for you guys. So, Or maybe even yeah. if any of you guys have like a really crazy story yeah. and you've been wanting to share this story, DM us, let us yes. know, and maybe you can even be on the podcast. Yes, and DM us on a couple things podcast Instagram We're going to be super active on that Instagram. You guys are probably going to be seeing clips all over the place from the podcast. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the podcast and you guys are following us on Instagram. Um, We're back and we hope you guys are excited because I promise you guys it's going to be lit. We are excited. It's just we're up from here. So hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you guys in our next episode. Bye. Peace.